Hey guys, it's Tiny Tom Logan back with another video for you, and this one's not going to be so hot. Although that's quite cryptic, because it could mean that it's not going to be quite so good, uh, and that's not what I mean. Anyway, uh, I was lucky enough recently to go to CES. What I was even more lucky enough to do was meet a guy called Bill. Bill works at Sabren. I've been talking to him for years on email, but it was really nice to put a face to the name finally. Now, I am gonna hold my hands up. Uh, Bill was one of the few people I didn't get a picture of with, and I'm really not happy with myself about it. And I genuinely wish I'd gone back to get one, but I actually didn't want to hassle him because I realised I forgot while I was still out there. Um, but anyway, so I didn't get a picture with Bill, I'm really not happy because he is actually genuinely awesome. Now one of the things he did when I met him was hand me this. Now you've probably seen pictures of this. Now it is the new Sabrent PCR Express 5 2 terabyte drive and while I remember because I have had to um, it will go in and out of my head really quickly. It's got the new Fizon E26 Maximum controller in it that they've been working on firmware with, with Fizon directly. Anyway, Bill gave me that. He said to me, it's, uh, it's still an engineering sample, but it is the final one. So uh, they're not gonna be getting changed or anything. It's gonna be exactly the same for retail, but they had a few engineering samples and he gave me one. And I was properly humbled by that. We had lots of good chats. But anyway, he gave me said controller. Now I had already seen pictures of the drive online with heat sink with a fan on it. And I just thought it was gonna be another hot PCR Express 5 drive, like the Corsair one with the fan on it. Um, and with the Corsair one with the fan, when you turn it off, it throttles. Bill said to me, take it home, have a play. But do me a favour, he said. I know you've got um, some of our heat sinks without the fans. He said, but trust me on something, pop it on a motherboard heat sink and see how you get on first. So I take Bill on his word and I pop it in Rogstrick Z790A Gaming Wi Fi 2. And the reason why I did that is because uh, I've got some. Stuff brewing that people have wanted me to do for ages with uh, undervolting and I'm doing a range of different systems. So we've got this one, we've got a gigabyte system, we've got an MSI system and it's been a lot more work and also the vendors have wanted to change bits in their BIOSes. It's turned into an absolute volcano of hassle. Anyway, this is one of the systems that I'm going to be using and I'm using this one specifically because it's small, it's got an air sink in it, so that we get a variety of results that I can try and be as thorough as possible. Anyway, so I plonk the PCR Express 5 drive in this because I've only got a PCR Express 4 system drive in it because it's a test rig and uh, I just wanted to basically punish it. Now we did all the normal um, tests that we would do at OC3D and we do have lots of graphs to show you there's more information on the website as well but what I specifically wanted to do in this rig in this config is just batter it with sequentials on crystal disk mark now that's not real world oh no so bef those people that are standing up shouting at the screen chill your boots I effectively just wanted to punish it so I literally sat there for ages just doing uh, crystal disk mark eight sequential runs. Every time it finished, I started another one. Every time it finished, I started another one. Now with the uh, fan profile in here, so we've got two fans in the bottom. There, are, there isn't a fan in the front. There are just the 220 millimeter halos from Cooler Master in the bottom. And uh, then there is one in the roof, one in the back, and then the uh, heat sink itself, which is 220s as well. And then effectively, what I did was just run it with a standard fan profile and uh, batter the drive. I've no idea why the fans are spinning up at the moment. It's obviously doing something, doing an update or something, who knows. Anyway, so I absolutely battered the drive and I 
couldn't get it to throttle on that very slim heatsink just above the graphics card. Now that was quite an eye opener for me because before I could do it without really even trying. Uh, but with the active airflow in the case, not being a torrent, not having a direct fan aimed at it, it was just the system as it's set up, we couldn't get it to throttle. The only way I could get it to throttle was pretty much turning the majority of the fans to like off, uh, leaving the CPU heatsink one on but on silent and then being incredibly, incredibly awful with the Crystal Dismark while absolutely baking the GPU with Fairmark at the same time. So uh, that is completely uh, not going to happen in the real world. If I was just gaming on it, the temps were lower than the ones that you can see in the graphs anyway. So, uh, and the, the ones that, the, that are in the graphs, that's how we do it. We literally just do uh, batter crystal disc mark and we monitor when we do the other bits and bobs. The gaming read and writes really aren't very uh, hardcore. Even video editing and rendering isn't particularly hardcore. You do really need a synthetic benchmark to get it to the point where it upsets the balance. Um, so, the things to take away from this are, it's incredibly quick because it's PCI Express 5, you can see the benchmarks that are coming up and the graph so that you can see that it is Rapido. But it's Rapido, but it isn't going to uh, fry itself without active cooling either. Now I specifically chose a very, very normal bland heatsink on purpose. If you had, for argument's sake, a, um, an Aorus Master, for example, the heatsink is bigger. The formula from Asus, the heatsink is bigger. There's better ways, there's better boards, but I chose the kind of the worst one and it did incredibly well. And I think, uh, I, I know that the controller on this is 12 nanometer. I do know that they have a seven nanometer one in the works that they say is gonna be even more power efficient, which tells me that temperatures are going to be going down as well. And while we're talking about in the works, I do know that there is a four terabyte version of this coming as well. So if you wanted an incredibly quick drive, if, I know there are people out there saying, I don't need four gig 14 gigabits a second plus, that's fine. If it's not for you, we welcome your feedback that you don't need it. Thank you for putting your hand up and saying PCI Express 4 is enough. I completely understand. But if you're one of the people that do just want super fast, know you've got the best, invest in it early, all of that sort of stuff, however you want to put it, then, and two terabytes isn't enough, and you don't have a second PCI Express 5 slot on your board, which most of us don't, then there is a four terabyte one coming soon. So plenty of things to get excited about and plenty of things to not have to worry about when it comes to drive temps. By the way, just wanted to finish up with, sorry for not getting a picture with you, Bill, but I do think we need to get some uh, wizards online to Photoshop us one instead. <laughs>